We've got Nathan. He's on the line in Texas via Skype. Hello, Nathan. Hey, everyone. It's funny you bring up the uh, the primary because you're running as you just got cut out a little bit there. Your uh, your audio went away completely. You said something about I'm running as a Democrat and for for the uh, the gubernatorial race here in New Hampshire. Yeah, I was. Yeah, actually, you just since you brought it up, uh, does that mean that you're you have to show up at the primary and ask the other Democrats there? Hey, guys, can I be can I be your candidate or no? Nope, no, nope. in New Hampshire uh, to run for political office as a Republican or Democrat, all you have to do is pay the filing fee. You have to be a member of that party. And you have to uh, pay the filing fee, which in this case for me was $100. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I guess I would have thought that someone at the, I don't know, someone at the National Democratic Party Convention headquarters would say, we got to go get those free staters out of New Hampshire. Oh, they'd love to keep free staters out of their elections. Uh, And not just the Democrats, by the way. There's some old guard Republicans, the people who've been there for a long time and the statist Republicans, if you will. There's plenty of them. Uh, they don't like the free staters being in in their party either. Yeah, it's not much they can do about it. A much it. larger percentage of Democrats care about the free staters than the Republicans. Um, yeah, that's they're... probably true. Um, though right now the current results, by the way, for anybody who's curious about my my run for governor here in New Hampshire, I've got four percent solidly in second yep. place. You have uh, <laughs> driven all the way up from miserable to um, to terrible. Hey man, I'm oh. actually pretty happy with this. I mean, so I was what, hoping first place is at like 93, 94%. Maggie Hassan, the incumbent, has 94.2%. Uh, I have 4%, and the other lady in the race has 1.8%. So I am uh, ensconced firmly in the second uh, place position here, which is what I was hoping for. I was hoping to beat the third place lady, and uh, I have succeeded in my political aspirations. <laughs> <laughs> you succeeded before the election because what you it's were true. hoping to do was, uh, you know, get a get a little bit of television time, a little bit of radio time, a little bit of newspaper time. Yeah, and that's what I got. And you actually got to uh, give a speech in front of the Republican um, uh, debate. The, yeah, their debate. So. so, yeah, I got to do all those things. And uh, the newspaper was a front page, top of the fold headline, you know, above the fold headline. That's pretty good. For a hundred bucks, can't beat that for uh, hundred bucks. Couple of little bit of news coverage on the radio. A few radio stations covered us, and then. So, some, how many people did vote for you? At this point, only fifty-two point eight percent. I'm not the, asking for percentages. I'm asking. No, 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 for, no. Only of that amount of the reporting has so come half in. Of, so, so we'll double the number. Okay, that's a rough thing you can do, I suppose. So Eight hundred and sixty-seven right now. So sixteen hundred crazy people in New Hampshire voted for you. Excellent. Yeah, God has blessed them. The Democrats voted for you, mind <laughs> yeah, you. The yeah, that's that's not even Republicans allowed. Right. And this was, by the way, this was with no. Because I didn't vote for you. I am a registered Republican in the state of New Hampshire. I can't even go and give you a that's vote. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you actually could have uh, written me in for state senate. Did you do that? I did. Okay. Good. So uh, <laughs> if I get thirty-five votes in the state senate election, I'll show up as a Republican on the state <laughs> senate. <laughs> no, that's how bad things are here. I'd like to put something out. Uh, for those of you out there who are considering moving to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project, you know, there really are some some opportunities here to get the word out about freedom. The Republicans didn't even bother running a candidate in the state Senate election here in Cheshire County. There's a reason for that. Well, the reason is they'll probably lose, but that doesn't, you know, there's there's liberty activists who could use that as a pulpit to talk about the ideas of freedom in the election. Indeed. And uh, I tried my best to get somebody to step up for that. Mark, I tried to get you to step up for it, but yep. you wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. And uh, and nobody else would do it. Johnny Ray sure, w- sure wouldn't do it, even though he might be qualified. I you, might run, but you I, do- I certainly won't vote. Are you doing seven? I wouldn't vote for really? myself. Really? You tease. Are you serious? You would I run- might you would do run? it for the laws. Oh, that would be so awesome. All right. So, wait. How long have you been in New Hampshire? Was it 08? Uh-huh. So, this is going to be 14. It doesn't matter now. Yeah, well, I'm just planning for next year. I want to make sure he's qualified because you have to be have li- having lived here for seven years to run for things like state senate or governor, for instance. So I was just really disappointed that the Republicans didn't throw anybody in against this incumbent. So now the current lady in the Senate, the, who's the woman who I talked about the other night on the air, who goes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. whenever you talk to her, mm-hmm. <laughs> So she's going to go through. She's going to sail through. Nobody's opposing her in this election. She'll spend. She'll have to spend zero dollars campaigning. She won't even try. She won't even have to try. Whereas if someone had just thrown their hat in the ring, just said, "All right, ah, screw it, I'll go ahead and throw in." At least then she'd have to maybe be a little bit concerned. 
She'd then have to maybe spend some money on some signs, some door hangers, spend some, get some volunteer hours out there and have to put some effort in. So there's plenty of opportunities here. There's not enough activists here in New Hampshire yet to fill all the races. I remember Daryl told me, and I don't know what the, the statistics are for this year, but in a previous year, uh, I think two years ago, there was something like 40 percent or some ridiculously high number of state house races that had no uh, challenge to the incumbent or something like that. So there's plenty of opportunity, plenty of political opportunity here. I think before I run for office, I'm going to need to prove myself as competent for government work in some way by either taking a nap, imprisoning somebody in my basement for <laughs> a couple of months, or killing someone. So, okay, are you just teasing, Johnny Ray? Are you really considering doing a political run? I, I for the lulls, because yeah. that's that's the reason to do a political run, as far as I'm concerned. If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Right. I think Vermin Supreme is uh, he's ideologically pure, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I love Vermin Supreme. In fact, uh, Vermin Supreme is the guy who runs for president every term uh, with rubber boot on his head and promising unicorns or ponies, ponies for everybody right, and yeah. mandatory toothbrushing. <laughs> Free talk live seven nights a week from seven to ten Eastern live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 